Okay, so you want to learn how to script on Roblox. Here's the top 5 tips that I would follow if I had to relearn scripting again in 2024. Let's go. Okay, so scripting is a vital part of Roblox development. And in my opinion, compared to other aspects of development such as building a UI, I think it has a higher barrier to entry and quite a steep learning curve which puts a lot of people off. Now I know you might be thinking, oh there's so much to learn, there's so many tutorials, it's all really overwhelming and it's going to take me literally years to learn all of this. I felt exactly the same those years ago when I started scripting, but that's not the case. It is easier than you think once you just commit to learning and in this video I'm going to show you how. My first tip is to just experiment. What I mean by this is when you follow a tutorial such as a YouTube video, try to understand and dissect what the code actually does, what each component means, and then you're more likely to be able to do it next time without the tutorial. I know when I first started, I remember following a tutorial on how to make a part change colour when you click it using a collector adapter. Uh, I think it was like four lines of code or something like that, but I just really analysed it, tried to figure out what each bit of the code meant, because this concept was completely new to me. And then, after finishing the tutorial, I challenged myself to rewrite the code from scratch, from memory, without the tutorial. And of course I failed, because that was my first attempt, but I didn't give up. I watched the tutorial again, I copied the code again, and then a few days later I tried it again and I could do it. Now to this day I can write a click the text script. I think experimenting is so useful because tutorials are great for showing you how to do things but to actually process that information I think you've got to play with it yourself, see what happens when you change something slightly, see how to break things and yeah I think this really accelerates the learning process so yeah I'd recommend just trying to write things from scratch and if it goes wrong it goes wrong, it's all valuable learning experience. Okay, so tip number two is debugging. Debugging is so important when scripting. Basically debugging is trying to solve bugs and problems in the code and errors that are caused when you run your game. It can be so frustrating yet, let me tell you, it's the most satisfying thing when you finally fix a bug that you've been trying to solve for literally ages and then it turns out to be the smallest thing like you've missed a character in your code. But yeah, debugging is essential and my advice to get good at debugging is to just write code. It's just to get involved with the code and learn from your mistakes. Obviously no one writes perfect code the first time, even people who've been doing it for 10 years or more, no one writes perfect code, there's always going to be bugs, there's always going to be errors. And it's your job as a scripter to be able to identify and fix these problems yourself and it is such a satisfying thing to do. As well as this, uh, when your code isn't working as intended, but there aren't any errors in the console, what I like to do is put print statements literally everywhere. I just spam print statements after every other line, <laughs> just to figure out where the code is breaking, why it isn't doing what I want. Um, but I think that's another good tip when debugging your code Now, tip number three, this is an important one for me especially, but don't try to be a perfectionist. Don't try and write the most optimized code straight away because I feel like that just hinders the process. At the beginning, you just wanna be writing as much code as possible, processing and taking in as much information as possible. So writing the cleanest, most optimized code isn't necessary at the beginning in the early stages obviously that's important when you get to more advanced topics but at the beginning i recommend just to embrace any mistakes and yeah you don't have to be perfect all the time the fourth tip i would follow is to use roblox's online documentation uh, roblox has really good documentation on their website which details like every aspect of their game engine that you might have to deal with when programming. 
It lists all the properties, events, methods, and descriptions, and even code examples on how to use these things. Whenever you're stuck on something, or for example, when you're experimenting, like in step one, if you don't know what a certain keyword means or what this service does, it's definitely a good idea to look it up on the Roblox documentation, the official documentation, because it'll explain really nicely how to use it so you can use it in the future. When processing developer products, I always forget what the properties of the receipt info are, so I always go and double check on the website. But yeah, there's so many tutorials and things on the Roblox website that I'd recommend looking at, as well as YouTube and other stuff, but yeah. And final tip that I wish I'd followed when I started, and I know that a lot of you need to hear this, is to just start. Just get involved with scripting, just make mistakes, embrace it, and just write code. Because the more time you spend watching videos and reading tutorials without actually doing them, the less time you're actually learning how to script. I think scripting is a very hands-on learning experience and you need to just do that for yourself to actually get anywhere. And now, I believe in you and I know you can do it and just commit to it. Don't give up and just get started and you will see amazing progress really quickly, quicker than you expected. and. You'll get ahead of most of the people who want to learn how to script by just doing it. But yeah, thanks for watching and good luck with your scripting journey. I'll be posting loads of tutorials on various scripting topics, so comment below what kind of topics you want. Maybe like a basics tutorial, a guide to scripting or more specific topics. But yeah, let me know and thanks for watching. See you soon.